at the end of the new beat era. You know, I was making 12 inch records the one after the other, but never with vocals. He was looking for a <laughs> black female rapper. I was the only one in the country. <laughs> so. Manuela Camosi was born in Zaire. At 17, she was rapping in Antwerp. When her Afro-tinged rhymes mated with Yo's knob twiddling, a bizarrely pronounced techno rap monster child was born. She said, yeah, I'll come tomorrow. I'll write something down this evening. And she told me she worked 15 minutes writing down the lyrics, came the next day and we recorded Pump Up The Jam. Changed our lives. <laughs> it was 89 when the record came out, but it turned out to be a hit in 90. Manuela didn't really want to do promotion and, you know. So the Belgian record company decided to have it promoted by a professional model. I mean, the next thing you know, guys came to me and said, hey, your record is in the store and there's this naked girl on it like that. I'm like, ah. Feli told everybody that she had sung it. She probably believed it herself in the end, but she couldn't speak a word of English. She spoke French. She couldn't sing. In the Get Up video, they had decided to have both of us in there and to sort of fade her out and fade me in so as to not confuse the public or whatever. That's why you have her in the video lip syncing the background vocal. Get up, get up, get busy, do it, get up and move that body, get up, people not get down to God, before the night is over. These aren't exactly songs, they're more like chants, huh, you know. I deliberately made Get Up as a follow-up on uh, Pump Up the Jam. Uh, I used the same bass sound, same synth sounds. Of course, you can't do that ten times in a row, so I only did it once, and then I changed. The public face of Technotronic was completed by a bloke called Eric. The Technotronic situation was a situation that my manager brought to me and said to me, look, these guys, you know, they need someone to, 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 to rap and to write, so are you interested? And I was like, okay, cool, because I just wanted to get on the mic. I didn't care. You know, you could have put me on a tune with Pavarotti, mate. I wouldn't, it wouldn't have mattered to me. Even Madonna was a fan and invited them to open for her on tour. No, 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 no. <laughs> Somebody said to me, Eric, how does it feel to be the first person on stage at the Blonde Ambition tour in front of like 40,000 people? And I was like, <clears throat> excuse me. This is it. Oh, hang on a second. This is it. What's this here? Manuela's cap. All right, well, there we are. I was pregnant. <laughs> it was get on stage, throw up, get on stage, and then come off the stage, throw up, get back on stage. <laughs> The Arkid K went solo and soundtracked the craze movie of the year. Eric has now relaunched himself as a hotly tipped rapper 